And from the first day at West Point, my focus and purpose was about selfless leadership, putting others before yourself and being ready to sacrifice for others such that the mission, the goal would be accomplished. So for me, the military is everything I am. The Army is everything I am. And when you think about hockey, it's really the most kinetic, it's the most fluid, and in some ways, it's the most tiring sport. Like I said up, up on, on stage, the, the, the combination of skill and character is not, it's, it's nowhere as important as it in the sport of hockey. It's just not. You know, it's, it's, it's a very physically kinetic, demanding, you have to be mentally tough. It's a sport that requires you to be most soldier-like most like the men and women of our army. You must play when you're tired and you're spent. And there's no nothing more to go on but your will, your will to win. And that's kind of the ethos and the spirit that we try to try to put into the organization from the first day we were here. And but I the, hope it's starting to bear. But the people you have surrounding you yes. too are, yes. have a military background. Yes, that's true. Um, a good part of our staff or former military, and uh, that for, that's for a lot of reasons. Mostly, mostly, that they come from a background that's very mission oriented. We have a we have a saying inside our organization. At the end of the day, words are really meaningless. It's your actions that display your intentions, and our intention is really simple: to win the cup. So it's it's really it's our DNA, so to speak.